Welcome to my back porch. I thought that we could all use a little change of scenery from my kitchen. <laughs> Today we are getting our camper ready for our beach trip coming up, but I'm also getting ready to go to Daytona tomorrow for an overnight trip because I have a little embarrassing problem. Before somebody comes at me, I realize that this is not a real problem compared to what other people are currently going through, so I'm not trying to say like this is a life and death situation or it's a huge deal because in the grand scheme of things it's really not but it's something that I've been dealing with it's been embarrassing for me and so I'm gonna show you but prior to my accident I was somebody that liked to get pedicures I didn't get them a lot but I got them every couple months during the summer because I like to have my toenails painted and I would get gel polish and the gel and the gel polish would last forever well, after my accident last summer, I went to get a pedicure for the first time. And I ended up getting infection in my toes and it wasn't anything they did wrong. Like I watched them unpack the instruments and all of that, but I think my immune system was just still down from everything I went through. But I ended up getting this infection in my toes that would not go away. And it lasted for months in fact they had to delay my knee surgery for like three months because of it i had to see a podiatrist for six months and was on antibiotics and antifungals and all this other stuff for my toenails well whatever infection that was it did some damage to my toenails and i'm going to show you and i'm about to go to the beach for a week and i can't wear open toe shoes because my toenails are so ugly so i'm going to daytona tomorrow and Emily, who you will meet, is going to get my feet back in order and I'm super excited. I've been scared to go anywhere around here because of the language barriers and the medical issues. So I've just been wearing shoes and socks, but I'm really excited to finally get my feet back in order and get beach ready. So I'm gonna show you my feet now. I can't believe I'm doing this. Mm. Okay. I realize that when you see it, you're probably not gonna be like, oh my, you're, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, that was not bad at all. Well, it's not that bad. I mean, I've seen a lot worse feet than mine, but it still sucks, so. Here's my ugly feet. Whatever infection I had caused my toenails to like get thick. And yeah. So, so I'm really looking forward to getting my toenails the way they're supposed to be and getting my toenails painted and being able to wear sandals again this summer. So, yeah. And I'm going to take you with me. So I am not a doctor and I am not allowed to diagnose. So I can tell you in my professional opinion, the infection that you had, so we're gonna go through like, this is where I get to like geek out over all like the technical terms. So um, this right here is your nail plate. So this is made of keratin cells. Keratin cells are also in our hair. So this is the nail plate. Underneath here is the nail bed. So this little tool, I have a little spoon. I'm gonna do it on this one. This is the nail plate, and then under here, you see how you can feel that? Mm -hmm. That's the nail bed, so that's the skin. Mm -hmm. So the nail plate is on top of the nail bed. Those are the two most common terms that you would need to know. Underneath here, there's this thing called the matrix. Mm -hmm. The matrix are where all the little keratin cells mm -hmm. come together and they make that nail plate to grow out. 
So what happened is when you got that infection, it affected your matrix. It affected here. So it affected how the nail, I call it the nail factory, even though that's not like the official <laughs> term. So it affected your nail factory got damaged. So when you damage the nail factory, this was what the factory produced and then it stopped. The factory shut down, kind of like during the pandemic, it just stopped. So then the nail didn't grow the same way, but a new nail started to grow underneath it. And so the new nail is growing and growing and growing underneath it because the old nail doesn't have anything to push it back. It's basically just stuck to what was growing underneath it. So in a good way, in a great way, and in like a positive, like, hey, here's some encouragement kind of way, this nail under here looks, looks pink, yeah. happy, yeah. healthy. So this right here is your old nail plate. Mm -hmm. Normally when people have issues, they have issues here. You had the opposite. You had an issue down here. And so this is the old nail. And it doesn't look like it's a bad nail, but because it's not attached anymore, it's thick, it's discolored, all that. I do not believe in this situation that this is fungal. If it is, or if it was, I would refer you to a doctor. Um, I believe that it's just basically dead nail on top of really happy, healthy, clean nail. So my goal for you today would be, we're gonna reduce this down with an e-file and we're gonna clip off as much as the bad nail as possible mm -hmm. and then see how much of this new healthy nail is underneath. Mm -hmm. And then if we need to, we will reconstruct you a perfect nail so that when you leave here, it just looks happy and healthy. And I can wear sandals? Yes, yes. Literally no one would be able to tell. <laughs> so it's just gonna take a little bit of time. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't been able to wear sandals or show my toes at all. I love it. I've been so embarrassed about it. So she is actually reconstructing my toenail right now. Fun. Very cool. Okay, so in a toenail reconstruction, it's really important for you to know that we did not use acrylic and we did not use a hard gel that some might use on like their manicures. What we used is a product that's called Barefoot, and it's specifically designed for toenails. It's designed to bend and flex with the natural movement of the toe and of the foot. So if you're using a product like an acrylic that was never designed to be put on natural skin on that nail bed, then there's a chance you're gonna cause additional trauma or damage to the healthy nail that's growing in because if you hit something or stub something, that acrylic is so hard that it's going to damage the new natural nail. So with this particular gel, this barefoot gel, again, designed for toenails, it's going to bend and flex with the natural movements of the nail. So if you are in the nail and the foot, so if you were to stub your foot really, really hard, this gel right here would just bend and then come right back. So you're not gonna cause any additional damage to the new happy, healthy nail that's growing in.